Good morning, children. Today we're going to uh, have a story that is probably one of the more popular stories in the Bible for children to learn, and it's the story of David and Goliath. Now the Philistines and the Israelites were getting ready to fight each other, and they faced each other on opposite mountains. In between them was this great valley, and on one mountain the Philistines, they set up their tents, on the opposite mountain, the Israelites, they set up their tents, but they didn't start to fight right away. Instead, the Philistines sent a giant named Goliath to challenge the Israelites. They figured that if one man would fight this man and win, then the Philistines would become the slaves of the Israelites. But if the Philistines defeated if Goliath defeated their man, then the Israelites would have to be slaves of the Philistines. Now, this giant, he was nine feet tall. That's like higher than the ceiling in here, probably. He had a bronze helmet and a coat of armor that weighed 200 pounds. He was such a big man that he could carry that into battle. He carried a thick javelin and a 25-pound iron spearhead, and to protect him even more, he would have a man walk ahead of him with a huge shield. Boy, I'd hate to be that man. So Goliath, in his big, loud voice, shouted, Send a man who will fight with me. We don't need a whole army to do our fighting. If your man is killed, I win, and you will be our slaves. If he kills me, we will be your slaves. Well, this didn't just happen once or twice. For 40 days, both morning and evening, the giant strutted before the people and shouted in a mighty voice, Send a man who will fight with me. Oh, but no one wanted to fight with him. They said, you are too tall, too strong, and too mean. And they too, they were too frightened to fight with him. But there was someone who wasn't afraid to fight the giant. It was David, the shepherd boy. The same boy that God had shown Samuel to anoint to be the next king. David didn't know that yet, so he was still out tending the sheep. Now, David was home, and his father, Jesse, who was actually getting quite elderly by now, um, came out to him, and he, three of David's brothers were fighting in the army. They were with Saul on the mountain and, and in this battle against the Philistines, and Jesse was kind of worried about them. So um, David, uh, Jesse went to David, and he told him that he wanted him to go take some food to, his, to the army and to the, his brothers and bring back a report on how they were doing in the army. So the next morning, David started off, and he went out and he found the armies. And he knew King Saul because he had worked at the palace. Remember, he, they had asked him to come and play the harp for for Saul when Saul was so depressed and had such a hard struggle and, and David's music had soothed Saul. So he knew Saul already and he, um, he found King Saul and the army and they looked like they were all ready for battle and they would come up to the line but every time they heard the thunderous mocking voice of the giant, they all ran away. Well. When David saw the giant, the, the people said, Notice how big and strong he is. And another soldier said, Well, have you heard that whoever defeats the giant, they'll get a reward from the king, and, and they'll even get to marry his daughter. And so, but David, he's like, Well, who is this man who is allowed to speak against the armies of the living God. David asked several of the soldiers. Then he said to the other soldiers, why should this wicked Philistine be allowed to, to speak against the, um, the armies of Israel? 
Don't they know that God is stronger than that and that God is on their side? And who, why won't anybody stand up to him? Well, David's three brothers, they thought he was just being arrogant and conceited, and they kind of came against him. And David just said, it was just a question. Why am I in trouble with you? Well, so one of the soldiers told the king that David was not afraid to fight the giant, and the king sent for David. David said to the king, no need to be afraid of Goliath. I will fight him. Oh, don't be ridiculous, said King Saul. How can a boy like you fight a giant like him? You're only a youth. You've never been to battle, and he is a grown man that's been in battles many, many times. Well, that's not true, said David. I've killed lions and bears who tried to steal the the sheep, and the Lord who saved me from them will save me from this giant. All right, said Saul, finally, and may the Lord be with you. Now, David was only wearing his regular clothes, and Saul told him that he could wear his armor. So David went into the tent, and he put on Saul's armor, and he he tried walking around in it and tried moving, and he just said... (laughs) This isn't going to work for me. I, I've not tried it out. I don't, I'm not used to wearing it. It'll hinder me more than it will help me. So he took it off, and then he proceeded out on the battlefield to fight Goliath. Well, then David picked up five smooth stones from the stream, and he put these in his shepherd's bag. As he walked along to meet the giant, he took out his sling. Now, Goliath couldn't believe it when he saw who was coming to fight him, when he saw that it was just a young boy. And he says, am I a dog? You come at me with a stick? Then he swore at David, using the name of his gods, and he said, come on over here, and I'll kill you, and my people will win. Well, David wasn't afraid. He shouted to the giant, You come at me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of the armies of heaven and of Israel, the very God you don't believe in. Then David continued, He will give me victory so that all may know that he is the true God. Well, David ran to meet Goliath, and he whirled his... his, uh, the stone in his sling, and he let it fly, and it hit Goliath right in the forehead, and down Goliath went, and he fell to the ground. And David went running up to his sling, and he runs up with his sword, with the sword, picks up the sword, Goliath's sword. And he finished him off. He cut, actually, he cut off his head, is what the the Bible says. Well, when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they dropped everything and ran as far as, as they could go, as fast as they could go. Well, Saul's army chased after them and captured many and took their belongings they had left behind. The Israelites shouted for joy. God had delivered them from the fierce Philistines by the hand of a young shepherd boy that trusted God to win the victory for him. Goliath didn't realize that in fighting David, he was also fighting God. (laughs) And we can't win when we fight against God. But David trusted God to help him. Now, as you, if you're listening to this and watching this with your parents or older siblings, here's some questions for you to think about. The first question would be, who was Goliath? Question number two, why were the Israelites afraid of Goliath? And number three, why was David not afraid of Goliath, even though he was a young boy, and the other Israelites were trained fighters, people that were used to being in the army and used to battling. Why was David not afraid when they were? I thank you for joining me again today, and I just pray that you'll have a blessed week. In Jesus' name, see you later.